Dutch boutique hotel chain Citizen M is looking to bring its own brand of affordable luxury to KL's crowded hotel market. Built for the short stay based traveller and so far the only hotel to list itself on Airbnb, Citizen M is looking to set itself apart with its modern facade and high tech facilities. We talked to Asia VP Tony Hinter Stoiser on repeating its earlier success in Malaysia. Before we talk about Citizen M, maybe you could share with us, you know, an overview of the hotel industry in Asia. Hotel industry in Asia is uh, so plentiful, right? You have so many locations and, and such a vast array of distance to cover. But overall, I think there is a lot of uh, potential in the Asian hot, uh, hotel industry or tourism industry because of the sheer amount of people being able to travel. Mm -hmm. And more and more and more people are getting access to travel. You know, their lifestyle gets better, their income gets a little bit better, there's more hubs and tourism in Asia is, is very important for the global tourism economy okay. but within Asia also very important. So I understand this is the first Citizen M hotel in Southeast Asia, right? That's correct. Why did the hotel chain decide to invest in Malaysia? Particularly Kuala Lumpur is, is a very vibrant, energetic city, right? And we have a vibrant, energetic hotel. Okay. Um, and as I said before, of course, it is important for us that our brand also resonates in the market. Coming from Europe, I know so many people when they go to th Southeast Asia for leisure or for business, okay. they come through Kuala Lumpur. And even though the airport is a bit further out, they would definitely make a two-day stop and, and, and discover uh, the beauty of, of, of KL, the food and, and the people and the diversity. So for us, this was a natural choice. Can we have more hotels in Malaysia? Maybe. I mean, there's mm -hmm. other areas to explore. Again, we want to get one right yeah. and then see how it goes. We like to have uh, more than one hotel in a location because it helps us also to work together. Uh, with the hotels and create again an efficiency. Who are your target occupants? Uh, well, as I said, mobile citizens, that's where the mm. name comes from. These are usually uh, people who travel, have an experience in travel. Um, they also know how they like to travel. Um, they spend uh, time in the location. They don't have to be confined to a hotel room. Business travelers. Mostly then in this case, business travelers. What is that thing that differentiates Citizen M from other hotels in the world? One key element really which uh, differentiates us is our people who work here. Uh, we call them ambassadors because we try to run our company in a reverse pyramid uh, setup. That means the power really lays with the people who work on the floor. We really try to break away from the stereotype scripting of the processes in a hotel, the long queues on check-in. Um, that's why we have self-check-in kiosk. You can only uh, have a cocktail, I don't know, from 5 p.m. onwards or whatever okay. it is. You know, I don't know who came up with those rules, but we really try to break all this and, and offer the customers a living room experience I like at home. So there are already many Airbnbs, motels, hotels in Malaysia. So what is your competitive advantage? That we uh, offer affordable luxury, okay. right? Um, so we can offer this type of environment uh, with a really outstanding service model through our ambassadors for an affordable price. We don't um, try to assume to have the best restaurant in town. Uh, we don't try to assume to have the best uh, vibrant bar in town, but we definitely have the aspiration to have the best coffee and the best cocktails, but absolutely the best service. We offer the nice mix of the basic services which make you feel comfortable and yet, you know, uh, you can go out and explore the city. So tell us about Citizen M's um, foothold, you know, how many countries is it present in now? We have uh, currently uh, 16 hotels in operation of which uh, most of them are in Europe at this time. We're, um, we're having three hotels in uh, London, we have four hotels in Paris, we have uh, three hotels in the Netherlands with one more coming. We are represented in the US. We have two hotels in New York, uh, the first one on Times Square and the second one on the Bowery, which just opened uh, a couple of months ago. In Asia, we have currently three hotels. Yeah. Citizen M Taipei Northgate is our first hotel in Asia. It's right. open for almost two years. Um, Citizen M uh, Shanghai Hongqiao, close to Hongqiao Airport, yep. uh, just opened a couple of months ago. And then the newest kit on the block is Citizen M uh, Kuala Lumpur Booking Bintang, which literally just opened three weeks ago. We have um, a big rollout plan in the pipeline, okay. around 20 plus hotels, which are in the making, of which uh, uh, 15 are in the US, uh, several are in Europe. Are there plans to increase the number of Citizen M hotels in Asia? We are a European company, prime focus was on Europe. Uh, America is uh, by choice was the next uh, feasible market and then we started to look at Asia um, but for us Asia was very far. It took a little bit time to understand the market and also to find partners to work with to then open our hotels but now we feel comfortable to strengthen our rollout strategy and with now three hotels uh, on the market or in the market we are now focusing on uh, Australia, uh, we're focusing on Japan that is because our hotel product will also work there very well. Okay. Uh, we're looking at, uh, of course, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, um, potentially Korea to 
continue to grow our brand. But you know, we are a small company, uh, and as I said, you know, we own all our hotels and really want to get it right. So we want to make sure that we find the right location uh, in the right city. We don't believe in growing for the sake of growing. Okay. We want to grow with intent. And you said it yourself that it's still a small brand, but. Looking at your presence globally, what is the success rate of Citizen M in other countries? Without being too specific, our hotels uh, have a fairly high occupancy. And like an example, our hotels in London um, run occupancy in excess of, of, of 85%, uh, close to 90%. Of course, our airport hotel in Amsterdam is constantly full. The New York hotels are also having a very high occupancy. We believe it could be very similar here in, in, in Kuala Lumpur okay. as well. Of course, the Kuala Lumpur hotel market, there is a lot of supply, but we feel that we have such a different product to offer in the market that um, we would get absolutely our fair share of, uh, of, of customers. So with the hotel market in Asia remaining tough for now, how are things looking for Citizen M? We have uh, uh, just had a third shareholder coming into yeah. our company, GSE, mm -hmm. uh, the sovereign pension fund from Singapore. I think they would not join our company if they wouldn't believe that there is uh, definitely opportunities yeah. for this brand. So we feel very confident, particularly with this new shareholder who is right. from, from Asia, that, that uh, our rollout in, in, in Asia would be strong. We have most of our spread uh, in, in, in Europe and the US. And those hotels do uh, phenomenally well. Our Taipei property is, uh, is now two years old. It's growing its numbers on a monthly basis. I think it's actually quite okay. Yeah.